today, gone to the temple, been sealed for time and eternity, and started their eternal journey together. You're stuck with me. <laughs> We're here to support Chester in having married Courtney. <laughs> 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 and Courtney, who has married Chester. <laughs> so just a, just a few words. They're taking the um, second step towards a new beginning and a new life together. Not only in this life, but into eternity. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have a special perspective in regard to marriage. When we marry, we marry for eternity. And as that commitment is made, as we kneel across the altar from one another, that comes into our everyday decisions, when we have our joys, when we have our challenges, when we have a sickness, we're there for one another, knowing that we will be able to be together as we stay on the covenant path for eternity. The ability and desire for one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that has been entrusted to us. We each know that our Heavenly Father gave us our Savior, Jesus Christ, because of his great love for each one of us. As we learn to love one another, as friends, as family, and especially today, as husband and wife, we're emulating that love that our Father has given unto each one of us. It is an all-consuming task, a lifelong endeavor, the journey we've been preparing for all of our lives. Loving someone is a reason to stretch beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your loved one and accept what we see. Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges humans to become all that we are meant to be. And what is that? To become like our Heavenly Father. As we strive to be like our Heavenly Father and like unto Christ, we become closer to one another and ultimately we become one. And that's a challenge Paul gives us in the New Testament, to become one, to become one in heart and mind. And that's the challenge that we each have in our marriages and in our lives as we develop our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Some counsel for you. You received a lot in the temple today. Yes. My sister gave me this counsel, and Sister Cook and I have always kept it. We always kneel beside our bed and say our prayers at night, and we don't go to bed ever angry at one another. I challenge you to do that, to always include Heavenly Father in your marriage, in your decisions, and you'll have joy. Would you like to do the vows or the rings first? I like the vows. Yeah. You have the vows, you got the ring. You have the pockets. Who's doing the vows first? <laughs> His first husband decision here. <laughs>
I know my dreams and aspirations will let us have a life full of joy and progression. When we decide to start a family, I promise to be true and faithful to my covenants as husband and father. In these latter days, it is never more important to keep growing in our faith in the Lord and to attain that happiness and success that we all seek. Courtney, my love for you will ever grow. You are my sunshine in the cold days and my constant eternal companion. I thought I was moving here just for the climate, but really I am here for you. Aww. That's better than mine. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 